All right. So, even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. I'm ready to battle. Ha. <laughs> you've got... You've a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Oh, no. If this is anything like the Arcanine fight, this is gonna suck. Hmm. Oh no. The Electro doesn't fall far from the tree. Are these things gonna explode on me? This thing's fucking huge. Aw, shit. They really meant it when they said don't don't stop moving. Alright, let's let's play the field and see how this goes. Uh can I oh do I bring this back to him or something? Ah fuck. Jesus man. Do I hit him with his own bolts or something? I don't think I can. Not quite sure how to get rid of them though. Oh, unless I throw a bomb at it. Nope. Nope. Not how you do that. Okay. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. He's, he's backed me into a corner. He's backed me into a corner. Oh. Pokemon in to do battle? Okay. Okay, this guy's a lot more dodging. The other, the... What's his face? The other guy is... He's gonna be faster than all of my Pokemon, I think. Oh no, he's gonna paralyze everyone. Um... We can overwhelm him with power, then we can do it. This isn't the also throw bombs at him kind of fight. This is a you, literally you're focusing solely on dodging. Oh come on! At least I feel like they give you a lot more health for this fight. Um, I think I just gotta roll through it. Maybe. And I called it with these Voltorbs, didn't I? This is revenge for me playing Voltorb Flip all that time. Alright. We keep running. Uh, let's throw you in. Flare Blitz. Like Alright. This fight is a lot more hectic, but a lot better, I feel. It's a lot more like I feel like I can actually do something. I wouldn't be surprised if we lost this fight, but I would be okay with it, honestly. Kind of learning what he does and what he's all about. I want to get away from him, though, for when he charges up. Yeah. Ooh, that one 
cutting me off. Okay. Reshiri's out. Thunder wave. Okay. Uh, the strong style is a little bit of a gamble if we miss it, but... I'm actually gonna open up my inventory and heal up Flare. Do I only have Piper Potions? No, I have Super Potion. And heal up Rishi Ri. Okay. This is this is taking so much brain power, but I actually I actually am having a lot of fun with this one. Ah! Okay, let's dodge that. Oh, okay, that was a little faster, huh? Ooh, this is mixing it up a little, huh? Ooh. Okay, got another blue one or green one. Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh come on! Oh, oh, there we go. Nice. He stops for like a second. Uh, let's throw you out, throw you out, throw you out, throw you out. Th did, I, did I not hit you? Come on. Come on, what the fuck happened there? What happened? What happened there? What happened? Why wasn't it throwing Flare out? Come on, game. Figure out your stuff. Figure out your own mechanics. Oh man. Okay, this isn't this isn't that bad. I can roll towards the end when he's like charging up his full blast, I can roll to the towards the end. Yeah, right there and I'm out. Okay, there we go. Now we can send out a Pokemon. Whew. The Thunder Wave seems scary. Flare Blitz. Alright, we still got it off. Shout out to Flare. Shout out to Flare Zero. Okay. Now, just a little bit more. One more run and we should be set. big wave attack, because then I know I'm towards the end. Oh fuck, okay. Oh, I gotta be careful here. You don't want him, like, cutting me off. There we go. Let's go! Okay! Flare eats that. No paralysis. Flare blitz. And we're out of here. Thank you for your sacrifice, Flare. Come on, we got this, 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 we got this. Let's go. Easy clap. GG gamers.
zap plate from electrode. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agree to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now the almighty Sinnoh's bl precious blessing has vanished forever. It's so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering's pro ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adaman. Seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching stuff ruffles me on. Ruffles me one bit. Doesn't ruffle me one bit. But, if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I've arrived right on schedule. Now what do you... Now what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recall something after Masu did me the honor of traveling with me. Things you do with the world and where I believe I lived... Things to do with the world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people were there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were their, there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones that we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forge bonds, understanding their Pokemon and with their opponents, and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths for forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Inigo's described too, Masu? I don't remember, I think I'm going to say. Pokemon of people working together in close harmony, huh? Could our noble frenzies be some kind of test after all? To see if we can achieve that kind of harmony as we flail around trying to fix things. Oh, once again... The, br the brilliant warden M M Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey Adaman, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. Alright, alright. Open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Now, of course, please, all of you, do your best to run towards the destination at an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Masu. It surely lies as with the next lord. Now this time, I really like... I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps this... With someone like Masu to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Masu. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both my electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Oh my god. Freaking shout out to Flare and Rishiri for that fight. Rishiri kind of hard carries a lot of fights, but Flare Flare definitely helped with that fight. Oh man! 
let's have the bo let's have the boys talk it out. He's like, remember when I did flamethrower? It was all like, Bwah! and he's like, yeah, when I did flare blitz, it was. Brrrm. He's like, I went. Bwah! They're they're hyping each other up right now, dog. Look at these guys. They're hyping each other up. I don't know how many more places there are left in the map, but I wouldn't mind unlocking the next area. Quelled Lord Electro. Let's be off to the village then and report back to Commander Kamado. Hmm. So Warden merely believes that the frenzy of these Pokémon are sort of a trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but... It does beg the question, why ever would it be, why would ever this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom that, the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is the, is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm. But you must be tired. Go on, then, to Wallflower. Get some rest while he can. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. What an enticing aroma! My appetite must must have just went through the roof. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk about our progress. Our progress surveying Pokémon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous, onerous, or at least less dangerous task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen from the sky to us from the sky and gone to help the people of Hisui so much? Indeed. Taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Masu. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true, true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Masu, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't, me doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corp in Jubilife Village now. Also, fun little tidbit, supposedly, I don't know if this is true, but apparently Professor Laventon is actually the ancestor of Leon and Hop from, uh, from Sword and Shield, if you guys didn't know that. Isn't it a nice, isn't it nice getting up early? Isn't it? Oh, isn't it? It's not as if getting up early changes, <laughs> is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Komodo's invitation. Today is in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on. No need to gross so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure he'll. we can all guess what the Commander wants with us. Yes. Do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. You've quelled the frenzy of the Four Nobles. It wasn't easy. Well, when word of our of these frenzies arrived from all over Hosui, I feared that would become... I feared what would become of us, but here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah. Who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in Alabaster, Iceland. He is also the largest of the nobles according to 
what Irita told me. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord, and perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my, plan, my clan and the galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Iceland. Until then! I wonder, is this going to be the last area? No matter how many times many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. You must, you most, the most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as possible. And do that, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I haven't done that yet. Ah! What happened? Oh, it's a Wurmple! Hehe. <laughs> Uh, Abra, teleport this Wurmple outside at once! <laughs> I kinda love Wurmple, he's kinda cute though. Kinda weirdo, but he's cute. Ahem. So you're, sur you're to survey the Alabaster Iceland next. This is most treacherous climb you'll face in all of Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corp I can task with surveying the Alabaster Iceland. You know your orders. You see your see your mission through. 